All right. Thank you for joining in today. This is the Winner's Circle Podcast, hosted by yours truly, Big Voice Win, um, brought to you by Big Win Voiceover Production Company. All right. So um, this is my very first episode or first show. I don't know what we're going to call it, but um, this is the first one. I felt I would start off with quarantine living. How is it going for everyone? All right. So we've been in quarantine now for quite some time. Many of the states are opening back up slowly, but surely. So we're, we're, we're able to kind of move around a little bit a little bit more than we have been the past month. Some of the stores are starting to open back up. Everywhere that you go, they want you to have on a mask and six feet, which just as a test run, we know isn't working. I mean, the one store that is open for everyone is your neighborhood Walmart. And well, it's pretty difficult to keep six feet from everyone. You know, so we'll see how that goes. And just just with the before we even get on the quarantine living itself, just this whole pandemic itself, the COVID-19, it has been extremely dramatic. It is one big soap opera, I think. Doesn't really look like our Congress really knows what to do. Our so-called leader, Prezi Prez Trump, I don't think he's really listening to the medical advisors that he has. Um, Nevertheless, I do understand the ideology behind opening back up. You know, hey, this is America. We thrive off of having a fast paced 24 seven economy that is always working, always moving, always producing. So when we're not producing, what exactly are we doing? We are doing nothing, nothing at all. So so back to the quarantine living. How is it going for you? For me personally, it's had its ups and downs. It's it's had many pros and many cons. You know, being in home is something I was already used to because the last the past five years I worked in the insurance industry. Um, I worked from home. I was working already remote. So kind of used to that. Nevertheless, still ended up losing my job. Um, So I am one of those people who has had to deal with the struggle of not having a secured job or work during this time, which also means that my medical ended. And now, you know, just having to go through the rings of Filling out applications, trying to find new work, trying to ensure that the funds that I have, I am allocating properly to the things that they need to go towards um, and not being wasteful. So with that being said, you know, let's deal with work first. How is work going? Are you working from home? Is is that something new for you? Is it something that that you're already kind of used to? If you're not used to it and this is kind of brand new, um, I hope you're enjoying it. If not, I may be able to have to give a few tips. One of those tips is going to be get a headless headset or <laughs> headless, a wireless headset, not headless. Don't don't get a headless anything. Get a wireless headset that will give you much more free range. You may not be able to, to go throughout the entire house and keep your connection. But I mean, you'll be able to go throughout you know, and come back and, and, and regain your connection for the next call or what have you. Um, but it just gives you the ability to keep your headset on and, you know, move to the kitchen, move to the, the restroom and, and just kind of give you more, much more free range. Um, so there's there's countless headsets that are wireless that you can, you know, check out and decide which one is going to be best for you. Some of them do break pretty easy. You know, if you got big hair. Or if you're one of those people that when you take your headset off, you open it wide, it'll break. It'll break it. So if you're one of those people, you may want to get a game gaming headset. 
it's wireless that may be a bit more compatible just because i think they make it a little a little more for the rough and tough handler so young younger generation gamers and things of that nature so something to think about and then also another thing you know if if it's if it's kind of wearing on you and just period if you're if you're having some higher levels of stress and anxiety than usual consider eating a bit better investing in raw fruits and vegetables and then also essential oils you know a lot of a lot of what we smell you know and inhale can can change our mood so think about that get you a few essential oils you can you know check them out at the store right now I purchase mine, if not online, then I get them from GNC. So check out their their variety and their their brand and what they have there. Well, they don't. I don't think they have their own brand. What I have from them is going to be now essential oils. So one of your one of your top providers for essential oils. So definitely check it out. See which one's going to work better for you. You know, if if you're going to go the cheap route because it's cheap, that is absolutely fine. Just know that those are really for you to inhale and inhale only. I wouldn't suggest putting them or using them on your skin. Definitely would not suggest you intaking that in any manner. Don't don't ingest it. You know, if you get if you get one of the higher quality so like now you can you can if if they're for ingesting you are able to do that. I use mine in in my oils and lotions for be it my hair or skin as well. So and then the the smells you know you're getting you're getting some really really strong smells orange lemon grapefruit all of those are going to they're gonna they're gonna lighten your day they're gonna they're gonna change your mood they're gonna be vibrant towards your mood and and give you a little bit more energy so so check that out as well all right so let's let's deal with the topic of work during quarantine hopefully you know everyone is doing okay with work and and income still coming in if you're one of those of us that has lost your job or just currently don't do not have a job keep looking Keep filling out applications, doing what you need to do there, but also you can create some work for yourself. Find out what it is that you're really good at. Find out what it is that you like to do and that you enjoy. See if that's something that you can combine and see what it is that you can do to create some work for yourself. There's plenty of opportunity out there. Uh, If you're a quick learner and you like computers, this is a great, great time for you to start doing some self-studying and a lot of research and and then implying what you've learned into your daily practice. Practice makes perfect, whatever it is that you're doing. If you do hair and you have children, or if you like to do hair, you like hair, practice. Practice on your spouse. Your spouse will let you cut their hair. Go ahead, do it. If that's something that you think you would be good at, give it a try. How else are we going to find out what we're good at if we don't try? So this is a great time and chance and opportunity for us to be adventurous and overcome some fears and learn a bit about ourselves. So take this opportunity, you know, to find out what you are good at. If you already know that you're you're very artsy start making things if you draw and color and all of that kind of paint you know do those things do that make you some projects within one week do two or three projects and then post them see if someone wants to purchase them from you you know um see how that goes if you're good with your hands make some posts you can go on craigslist just as fast as you can go on facebook or youtube and let the world know what it is that you're skilled at and do those things you know so keep doing those things if you are an artist of any form music what have you this is a great chance and a great time for you to invest into yourself and practice your ability and put some projects out there put some projects out there you know there's plenty of instrumentals on the internet find some that are not already purchased or being used 
and just make some some information or not information, but make some make a product or a project to that and put it out, you know, not as something you're selling, but just as something that you're doing and, and see what type of feedback you get. You're not going to get major, major, major feedback in a week. You may not get major, major feedback in a month or two. But if you're diligent and you keep pestering all of us with it and you keep making things that are catchy or things that, you know, we vibe to and and enjoy, you're going to you're going to start to create an audience for yourself. So go ahead and take that chance. And it's 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 great to invest in yourself. We've been investing into large companies and corporations for a long time. It's time that you invest in you. So you can create work. That is what I would definitely advise for you to do. Okay. Um, again, this is brought to you by Big Win Voice Over Production Company. That is my voiceover company. So I'm trying to get into voiceovers. I would love to do audio books. I would love to do commercials. As a matter of fact, I've created a few commercials already. So let's go ahead and take a commercial break. Are you tired of being tired? I am. Have you noticed all the side effects of medicine? I have. Are you aware that natural herbs and plants are our body's natural healers? Are they? Yes, they are. And Natural Max Health products can help you start your journey to total body wellness from head to toe. Eat with intent. I mean, your body is by far your most important machine. Take care of it and it will take care of you. Natural Max Health products provide what you need for detox and body cleansing, nutrition and energy, pain relief, skin and beauty, and nutrition for tiny humans, our babies. Take control of your mind, body, and spirit. Visit naturalmaxhealth.com and rejuvenate your soul. Natural Max Health, total body wellness from head to toe. All right. So, again, um, a little bit about myself and Big Win Voice Over Production Company. I am looking to get into doing some anime voiceovers. I would love to be an anime character. Me and my 13-year-old daughter, we spend most of the day watching anime. We've done Hunter x Hunter. I've done JoJo's Great Adventure, whatever it's called. Right now, I think we're doing Naruto. Naruto, I think that's what she told me because I was calling it Naruto. So whatever the name of it is. Can't do One Punch Man because I don't want to read it the whole way through. And I don't speak Japanese. Can't do Titans, Attack of the Titans, because that's also in Japanese. So hopefully we'll get that in English sometime soon. But yeah, these are these are some of the things that I'm personally trying to push myself into so whenever you get a chance go ahead and visit www.bigvoicewin.com that's big voice w-y-n-n.com check out some of the the commercials and and promos that i've done leave me some information there if you'd like to get in touch with me you're able to do so right on the website all right so while we're quarantining, quarantining, is that a word? Quarantining? What are we doing as far as family life? You know, fun time. What is there to do from the home? And are you able to find any alone time now? Because, all right, I'm single, so I'm alone in that matter. But very seldom do I get any real alone time. Almost all of my time is spent with my daughter. And then I'm also with my father. So, you know, we're alone, but we're not alone. Okay, so how's that working out for you? Hopefully we're finding ways to keep ourselves and keep our family members entertained because we definitely want to keep the stress and the anxiety down, 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 down. So Uno, that's a big one in my my household. We love Uno. We play the video games. I personally try to stay away from the video games for the most part. Video games will just take over life, you know. And I understand in this day and age, you know, you have kids out here making hundreds of thousands of dollars 
off of video games. So if you're going that route, then go ahead. But if not, if it's all about the play, personally, I have to limit my my child and myself maybe an hour and a half at one time, you know, earlier during the day, as long as you've been productive. And then later on, maybe get back on as long as you've been productive. But if it's something that I have to, you know, I leave, go to the store and come back. I do some work, come back. Every time I look at you, you're on the game. That's we're probably going to end that and then just make that a stationary thing. We're going to we're going to we're going to schedule some game time for for the, the system and, and, and the computer games. Hey, if you have a, a pretty nice size location in home or even apartment and you have small children, hide and seek. That's a great one. Board games are great. Have to keep each other entertained and karaoke. Do some karaoke. That's always fun. Pull up some old songs. Nowadays with YouTube, almost any song that you can think of, or at least any artist that you can think of, you can find something by that artist that's in karaoke format. And even if it isn't your favorite song, you can probably just go to that song and sing along. You're in your house. So you may as well do it. So let's let's make sure that we're having many more laughs and smiles. Then we are tears, crying, and, and, and stress and anxiety. Life is already stressful. This whole situation is pretty stressful. So let's ensure ourselves that we make the best of it. Okay? And then what are we doing to stay healthy? Because right now, the pandemic, COVID-19. All right. This is my personal opinion. And it is backed by some anime that I've watched and just a little bit of research that I've done on COVID-19 and the coronavirus itself. It doesn't look like we are really suffering from the virus itself. It looks like what's happening is if you have something going on, you have an infection or you have a virus or you have a disease and then you also end up with COVID-19, it seems as though, again, this is my opinion, it seems like COVID-19 enhances that issue. It makes that issue go from a 1 or a 2 to a 100 to the point where it could possibly put your, your life in danger. A common cold becomes pneumonia. So health is extremely important. What are we doing to ensure our health and the health of our loved ones. How are we staying healthy? What are we eating? Are we exercising? Are you getting rest? Even during COVID, personally, I am just, I am, I'm not a good sleeper. Again, it, I'm single. That's what it is for me. I don't like sleep. So I don't really sleep. I may, I may go to sleep around 2 a.m. and 8 o'clock. Nine o'clock, I'm back up and I'm moving around and I'm ready to go to the track, get my run in and, you know, start eating and, and start my day. So are we getting are we getting rest? Because you definitely need rest. You know, that's something that I have to f kind of force on myself from time to time. Get some rest. One of the main things, though, is definitely going to be your food intake. How are we eating now being on lockdown and with all this worry that was created by our media and government, I am pretty sure and positive that a lot of us went out and got a lot of processed foods. And that's kind of understandable with the circumstances. I mean, we want to have things that we can just pull out and microwave or throw in the oven and, and they're cooked already. And, you know, chicken sandwiches, fish sandwiches, uh, hot wings, things like that. Everybody gets them for the most part. But I personally, this is what I do in my household and this is what I strongly advise to you. You want your main intake of food, your diet to be raw fruits and vegetables. OK, if you can do 70 percent or more of your diet intake is raw fruits and vegetables, you know, seeds and nuts, things of that nature you're going to be able to see and feel a significant difference in yourself, in your body, 
your strength, your energy level, your overall health. Understand that natural food is natural medicine, okay? These trees, these herbs and spices, they were put here for one reason, to keep us healthy. That is why they're here. You like how I said herbs and spices? Yeah. Cayenne, cinnamon, walnuts, sunflower seeds, the apple tree, the grapefruit, all of these things. Kale, moringa, all of these things are here for our benefit. This is our medicine. Chicken is not medicine. Beef is not medicine. Those things help create disease. Okay? It's going to be fruits and vegetables that are going to fight that disease. So again, fruits and vegetables, that is what's going to fight off infections, viruses, bacteria, disease, and keep us from getting these things as well. You, you want to overload yourself. Think of it that way. You know, you can never have too much raw fruit or raw vegetables. You can always have too much macaroni. You can always have too much chicken. You can always have too much beef. But you can't really have too much apple. You can't really have too much kale. So, you know, in, in, in America, food has been created and made to be more of a lust thing. It's all about the enjoyment. So I'm born and raised in Chicago, right? The West Side, Chicago Avenue, Central Park, all the way to Laramie and North Avenue. We have restaurants everywhere. You can go right on the corner and get pretty much anything that you want. An Italian beef dip smothered in cheese and hot peppers. You can get a 50-piece fried wings, fried hard with lemon pepper and fries, mal sauce, Pepsi, diet Pepsi as if. You can get all of this. You can get anything. You can get fried shrimp, fried catfish nuggets. They will make up something. You know, a lot of our stores, restaurants rather, you know, we got the we got the McDonald's and the Wendy's and they're doing great in the in inner cities as well. They're thriving. But then we have just neighborhood restaurants where you can just I mean, literally, man, there's there's like 30 things on the menu. You can get you can get some super fries, which consists of taco meat, steak taco meat with all the toppings, cheese, lettuce, sour cream on top of fries for like three bucks. That's a meal, which is great when you don't really have much money, you know, so it, 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 it has it does have benefit. I'd much rather you eat than starve. Most definitely. However, you can also take that three dollars if you got 50 cents and you can buy like a four pound bag of apples as well. Just something you can think about. Or you or with that three dollars, you can buy you a dollar worth of apples, a dollar worth or a few bananas. And something else, you can you can buy a head of lettuce for a, less than two dollars. Not iceberg. You can get romaine lettuce, raw fruits and vegetables. That is literally medicine for the human body. We have to start changing our intake. As far as it, I mean, well, you don't have to do anything. You can keep doing what you're doing, and you can grow old and be suffering if you choose to do so. Me, I try to stay healthy. I've had loved ones die from cancers and, and issues like that when it, it didn't have to it did not have to be. These things come from our diet or from our intake, what we ingest, be it smoke, cigarette smoke, food, sexual activity. These are how you get disease, things that you take into your body. So, again, ensure that you take very good care of your body. You have to. So are we exercising? Is everyone getting their exercise in? What are you doing? Are we walking? I don't know if walking is considered exercise really. It's walking. You walk through Walmart. It's not exercise. You're 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 in the store, you know. So walking is good. You need to you need to walk. But if you're 50 years old and younger, you most definitely need to be doing more than walk. You need exercise. I'm going to look it up. We'll get a definition for exercise maybe on the next one. But you need to get your heart rate up and you need to get some blood circulating and pumping. You want to work your heart. You're not really working your heart walking. If you're walking up a really steep hill or a mountain, that's one thing. 
Most of us are not though. So you wanna you wanna get you some jogging in. You wanna get you some exercise in. And you don't have to be Superman or Superwoman with your exercise, at least not from the beginning. And you can start very light. Start with like for men. You haven't done exercise in years, let's say. Get down and, and do five push-ups and see how that feels. Five good push-ups. If that feels pretty good, do three sets of that. Let that be your first week. Three sets of p- five push-ups. That's just 15 push-ups. After you do that, do five squats. You see how I talk five? It's a Chicago thing. I've been told all my life that I have an accent, that I sound country. So I've always boasted that my whole family come from Tennessee, Mumford, Brighton, Memphis area. I guess that's where I got it from. But five is a word, just like four, four and five. So five push-ups, three sets. Do those those five squats. See how that feel to you. If it feels good, and it might it might. Don't be afraid of pain from exercise. Now, if you feel like you don't you tearing something or or something like that, and you might need to go and see a doctor when 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 that opens back up. But loosen them joints up. Do five squats. If you, if the five feel good, then do three sets of five from squats. Now, sit ups can be stressful or harmful to us older folks back lower back upper back mid back what have you i have back problems and i don't i don't want any of you all to experience some the back pain that i experience from time to time so i've started mainly doing for my core um leg lifts and there's so many different forms and varieties of leg lifts that you can do so try some leg lifts see how that goes for you do five to ten leg lifts if that feels good do three sets of that and then every week once the week starts over add another five to that so that five push-ups becomes ten that five squats becomes ten you're gonna feel the difference you're gonna start feeling that difference and it doesn't have to be a week if you're a natural athlete or someone that, that participated in athletics when you were younger and you start getting into it, like me, I might start with 20 sets of 20, day one. Day two, I'm at 25. Day three, I'm at 30. Day four, I'm at 40. I'm trying to get up to fit, uh, sets of 50 of everything as quickly as possible. That's that's me. So I'm 37 and I have a 13-year-old. My 13-year-old daughter, the last few years, has been on the wrestling team for the past three years. She was taking up boxing. She did a year on the swim team. She did a year of volleyball. She did a year of track and field. And she's been on, she was on a dance club or team at her school two years, I believe. So, she's very active. Past three years, I coached football youth football so we're an active family so i try to i i I make sure that i i keep myself fit doing something even now we we try to go and run at the track at her current middle school at least three to four times a week we will jog a mile and then we'll do some sprints we were doing six 100s And I was trying to, you know, just get her form correct, running anywhere between 75 and 85 percent, you know, just learning how to keep your head down and bring it up and your knees up, using your arms, things of that nature. That's what we were doing. I have found and learned that we're going to focus on cardio because my cardio was much better than hers and she was on the swim team. So we're going to work on cardio. We're going to get that up. But but you definitely want to exercise. You have to get in some exercise. You have to take care of yourself. That's what this is all about. It's quarantine life and quarantine living. But you are forever quarantined to your body and your life. So you have to enjoy it. All right. Let's go ahead and take us another commercial break. And we will be right back. You, my love, are a natural beauty. And you should be pampered with the best nature has to give. Immerse your livelihood in the best. Candles and incense to uplift your spirit. 
turmeric cleansers and soaps to wash the hate away. Handmade and all natural bath bombs for him and her will leave you refreshed, revived, and feeling sensual and ready to thrive. I Famous Candles and Spa Treats will leave your home and soul smelling and feeling like heaven's own Garden of Eden. Visit ifamouscandles.com and purchase now. I-F-A-M-O-U-Z candles.com Love is a lifestyle. All right. So during that, that um quick commercial break, I had me a a drink. It's called a mule. It consists of vodka. My vodka choice today was cherry flavor, three olives. It's really good, honestly. Really great. Really, really smooth. Really, really strong um, cherry flavor. I really like it. You mix that with some lemon juice. I would say maybe a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then about, so let me see, maybe about four to six ounces of ginger beer. That to maybe about two ounces of vodka. Or, you know, I mean, you can make it as strong as you want, but to not really taste the vodka, I think I I do somewhere around two ounces of vodka. A couple of ice cubes, mix it up. It's great. I love it. Okay, and uh, hey, you know, I'm quarantining, so I am my boss. All right, so we talked about healthy eating. We discussed some exercise. You know what's another really great exercise that you can do as a family? Dancing. Learn some of them TikTok dances with your kids or teach it to them. They don't know. That is that is a really, really great way to get in some exercise for yourself and for your family because those are workouts if you're dancing that's a workout you can just pretty much turn on anything on youtube and and you can turn on some music and get to dancing it's gonna gonna relieve some stress you're gonna be moving get learn some moves learn how to cha-cha or cha-cha slide either one it's gonna be great so before we come completely off of health Let's deal with the essential oil of the day. So I decided to do frankincense essential oil. Frankincense. You've heard it before. Frankincense and myrrh. Those are two of the gifts that the wise men brought to Mary and Joseph in the Bible for the unborn Jesus. Frankincense and myrrh. Frankincense. It comes from resin off of the Basuela Carteri tree. It has been traded around the Middle East, Africa, and Mesopotamia for over 5,000 years. I'm telling you, natural things that grow right out of the earth, they are here for us. They are here for our health and for our benefit. Okay? Historically associated with religious traditions, frankincense, essential oils, and it smells amazing. I love it. I put it in my lotions and in my oils for my hair, for my skin. It's really great for your skin. Really great. Combines well with cedarwood, lavender, sandalwood, and myrrh, of course. Frankincense and myrrh. Myrrh doesn't really have that much of a scent to it, but it's like an enhancer. Kind of like COVID-19 or coronavirus. It enhances whatever you add it to. Think about that, okay? Diseases, this infection or virus. I don't, I, I, I don't know if you want to get some numbers and present them. That would be absolutely fine. But I don't think it's really COVID-19 that's being the big bad wolf here. It seems as though the COVID-19 is enhancing other issues that individuals are dealing with okay so again one one great example um that's really easy to understand i think it's easy for me and i'm not very bright it's going to be your common cold becoming pneumonia you know common cold you feel a little sick runny nose coughing and sneezing but you're all right you can go through your your day but pneumonia it feels heavy on you 
you can die from pneumonia and the common cold can become pneumonia. We don't want those issues. What we want to do is we want to enhance our health. So frankincense essential oil. It's a really great one. It tends to be fairly expensive depending on who you get it through. Again, I personally right now have been getting my essential oils from GNC and pretty good pricing. Now essential oils and I have nothing but praise for them. Really great products. All right. So that was our essential oil of the day and it'll be for probably for the week. So back to quarantine living. How's that going for you? Are we learning anything? Learning anything new? Are we learning anything about our spouse or your spouse? I don't have one at the, at the moment. I'm learning a lot about my daughter. So it's been very beneficial in that matter. But what else are we learning? You doing any reading? Any new really good books? I've been doing a lot of research. You know, this is... This is a great time for you to do some research, learn some things. You can pretty much research anything. You can Google it and find out what you need, what your source is, and obtain that source. You can order it off Amazon. You may be able to just go right to a website and get a lot of great information about practically anything. And learning is a benefit. You're learning something. You're exercising your brain. Everything is a muscle with us. We exercise our right to talk all day long. You know, we exercise that tongue muscle. It is good to exercise your heart muscle. It is a muscle. And it is good to exercise your brain. Okay? So learn. Learn a few new things. It doesn't have to, you know... I don't know where this concept of the eight hour day and, you know, go to school for hours on hours came from. I don't really think that's the most productive way to do things. You can research something for 15 minutes and then go and do some other things. Maybe come back later and and check out another source on that same exact topic. But you will you will take that in. Your intake of that will be much better than sitting there and just trying to read or deal with it for an hour or two. So shorten up that time. Our My focus isn't that great anyway. You see how I'm doing with this, with this podcast? I'm not a big talker. I don't talk for hours like this. This is episode one for me. So it is a learning experience. I hope you guys are enjoying it. All right. So yeah, this is a great chance and great time to be learning and, and researching and Finding out about yourself, finding out about your household, the creatures that you've created, and the individual you created them with. This is a great time to find out about your household. So make sure we're doing that. How's your spirit? Are you meditating? Are you getting any closer to your creator? Do you have a creator? Are you here due to a big boom? I don't know. There could have been a boom for all I know. I believe Jesus created everything. And there you go. I feel like I can back that, but this isn't that episode. So if we get to an episode where I, where we need to discuss that, we will. But a big bang came from something. What made it go bang? You know, something made it go bang. If there was a big bang. What I don't believe is that a single cell organism became a multi-cell organism that became a fish that crawled out of the sea that grew arms and legs and then wings possibly or just decided not to fly and then then just came all of these different species that that is i can't believe that that has no real basis in science or reality that's just that's just made up man that's just made up Humans have been here for thousands of years. We have not evolved into anything else. We still have many monkeys and great apes. They have not evolved. We adapt. Sure, we adapt to different things. Absolutely. But during mankind's entire time here, we have not seen one animal change into something else. So I can't I just can't roll with that. But how is your spirit? 
because while we're quarantining, this is a good time to understand, you know, the different levels of, of life that exists and coexists within us. You know, you have your mental state. You have to take care of your mental state. You have your physical state. You have to take care of your physical state. You have to. You have to eat well. You have to exercise. But there is also the spiritual state. You have to take care of your spiritual state. You really do. I think we're going to have to touch on that at some point because I've made a bold statement that Jesus created everything. So if you would ever like to discuss that, let me know and we'll come up with that as well. OK. All right. So we are going to take another commercial break and then we're going to come back with the food of the day. Sexy, sassy, hood classy, bold, 803 Life Jeans, custom made everything, royal apparel for you, queens and kings, 803 Life Jeans, the right way. I'm gonna take a sip. All right, so, food of the day. I've already spoken on raw fruits and vegetables, so I want to give you one to invest in. And... Listen, eating raw fruits and vegetables cannot be something that you do for a week or a month. It is something that you need to allow to become or make it a lifestyle. Make that a part of your life moving forward. Okay? It's going to be very beneficial. Look up any fruit. Look up fruit. Put in a fruit. Google a fruit. And then next to it, put in benefits. So that you can see all of the benefits from all of these different fruits and vegetables, okay? And herbs and spices. So today's fruit or food of the day, it's a fruit. I just gave that away. It's going to be cantaloupe. Good old cantaloupe. It's a melon. Same family as watermelon and honeydew and, and those things. It is the cantaloupe. It is a great source of vitamin C, vitamin A, folate, niacin, potassium, vitamin K, magnesium, protein, iron, and zinc. Let's deal with those with the protein and the iron. I have never seen a cow eat another cow for protein. I've never seen a gorilla eat meat for protein. Gorillas are massive, very, very, very strong, heavenly build, beautiful, graceful animals. I mean, your normal dairy cow looks like a dairy cow, but ox, bison, bulls, they eat grass and they look amazing. They look strong. They look extremely strong and they are massive. They are huge. Elephants are huge. None of these animals eat meat. They eat plants and fruit like cantaloupe. So if you really want to build muscle, get your protein from fruits and vegetables okay so cantaloupe again protein iron we all need to make sure that we are eating iron rich food for our blood you want your blood to be circulating excellent and healthy you want healthy blood cells and all of that so cantaloupe again for iron and zinc um also for the cantaloupe good source of dietary fiber rich in antioxidants which are going to prevent or even slow the damage to cells that are caused by free radicals cantaloupe also contains amino acids and they are rich or a rich source of phyto yeah that's it phytonutrients which have also antibi or i'm sorry anti-inflammatory properties when eating cantaloupe regularly, you will reduce inflammation throughout your entire body. Inflammation is just pain buildup, swelling, stiffness in the joints. All of that is inflammation. That is primarily caused by eating the wrong foods. So eat the right foods. You reduce inflammation throughout your entire body. Naturally reduce swelling, alleviate pain, reduce the risk of many diseases. With what? cantaloupe yes cantaloupe is also a natural immunity booster it helps prevent disease and infections such as the common cold or flu or COVID-19 
Cantaloupe also will boost energy. Um, cantaloupe protects your eyes and it promotes overall eye health. Some of the other nutrients of the cantaloupe. All right, so forgive me. I didn't put the pronunciation of some of these words. I'm not even going to try this one, but um, let's see here. Beta carotene, lutein, and I'm just going to spell this one. I think it's Zaya Xan. Z-E-A-X-A-N-T-H-I-N. It's good for you. And then also, again, vitamin C. They kept mentioning vitamin C. Everything that I researched about cantaloupe talked about the vitamin C. We all know that vitamin C is extremely important to our overall health for fighting off infections and things of that nature. So you want to have a daily and regular intake of fruits and vegetables that are high in vitamin C. Cantaloupe is one of them. Cantaloupe is very healthy for your skin, your eyes, your lungs. Decrease your stress levels, strengthen immune system and prevents arthritis and helps manage diabetes. Very important for our elders and older generations. Um, and then just even people in my generation, you know, you're in your mid 30s and 40s and you're getting stiff joints start eating right put down the sandwiches okay eat and pick up some fruit here's my favorite of this though for the for you women helps prevent birth defects again this is cantaloupe helps prevents birth defects and can prevent neural tube defects you want healthy babies change your diet craving what is a craving lust <laughs> That's what a craving is. It's lust. At the end of the day, you're craving something. You're lusting after something. You can lust for food. We call it a craving. If you're just so thirsty for ice cream, you will almost do anything. You're, you're just craving some Wendy's. That is lust. That's all that is. That's it. So lust for something healthy, natural, the great cantaloupe. I used to hate cantaloupe growing up. I am not going to lie. I used to hate it growing up. I just hated the taste and the smell of it. But now it's something I eat almost every day. I buy all my own fruit and, you know, for the household or we buy it rather. And we buy it whole. That's what I'm really trying to focus on. We don't buy it already cut up or anything like that. I cut it all up and get a watermelon, cantaloupe, pineapple, mangoes, honeydew, things like that. I cut it all up and put it all together in a really big bowl. Mix it up, put it in the refrigerator. It is amazing. I mean amazing. So, and I, I can eat that three, four times a day. It's good. It's sweet. You got all those different flavors. You're going to be hydrated. It's amazing for you. All right. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you again for joining me. And hopefully you will be back next week. Same time. Again, this was the Winner's Circle podcast. Make sure to visit www.bigvoicewin.com. That is bigvoicewyn.com. Have a good one.